Hi, I'm Travis Markwood with the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce, and you're watching Business Forward, a production of the Interface Video Production Company. Uh, and actually, uh, as funny as that sounds, we're here today with Interface Video, and I'm with uh, Bob Competti, uh, owner-operator of the uh, company, and we were just talking before the show, 25 years, is that right? That's right, Travis. Thanks for having us. Um, this, uh, this coming fall, October, we will have uh, been in business here in Lancaster and Fairfield County for 25 years, so we're pretty excited about that. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Well, as we kind of think about 25 years in business, let's reflect on that a little bit. Uh, how'd you get started? Uh, you know, where'd you come from? Well, um, I originally, I was uh, working at a uh, television station in Chillicothe huh? and um, living in Lancaster. And that was around 85, 86. And um, in the fall of 1987, um, I came to Lancaster and just kind of went around from different businesses and said, hey, what do you guys do here for, for video production? And they said, well, we use a company out of Zanesville, or well, we go to Columbus. Or So I kind of did a little bit more research over the next year or two and uh -huh. decided, let's let's maybe try this you know, here in Lancaster. So in 1988, um, I left the channel, uh, channel 53 in Chillicothe, it was WWAT, and uh, started Interface Video. And basically just started it out of our house. Um, I lived in town and um, Ordered a bunch of equipment, got a got my first loan. I remember it was for a whopping fifteen thousand dollars. Oh wow! So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the cameras and the equipment came to the house, and I remember Travis. That was really the uh, kind of a scary moment. You're like, right. okay, this is really yeah, cool. I'm but, really going to do this. But yeah. now what? You yeah. know, now. Right. But right. Uh, it was uh, just a week after that. Um, we had an unfortunate uh, fire downtown Lancaster. You might remember right. when it took down the Sharps building, the Hallmark yeah. building, yeah. and I had come out of church up at St. Mary's and saw it. Ran back, grabbed the camera, came down and started filming the fire. And within a week, the fire department called me and said, um, hey, we, we saw you guys down there. Would you be willing to put together a training video for us to kind of show the ins and the outs? Right. And th really, that was it. We had a job in a week, and that yeah. kind of started the ball rolling. Wow, very cool story. Very cool story. And, and over the years, I think, uh, you know, you've, you've added to your services, I'm sure. Uh, you talk a little bit about some of the different things that you offer. Sure. Um, when we first started, we primarily did and focused on television commercials for Time Warner Cable. That was the first place that I went to and said, hey, we would like to do some commercials for you. Sure. So um, after that, we started getting into a little bit of you know other things, promotional films, training sales, and uh, industrial type videos. Uh -huh. Um, and then we moved into a little duplication, transferring uh, of any kind of forms of media. There's so many forms, as you know, of, of media out there, and whether right. or not it's films, you know, 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter films, or VHS tapes, or uh, different formats, we transfer and convert those over to DVD or files for people. Um, and then we also do a lot of television programming, which is probably our biggest part of things we do now that we didn't do when we first started, and that could be television programs such as this um, or absolutely. sports broadcasting. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking of sports broadcasting, we're on site uh, for a sporting event tonight, right? We are. Uh, beginning um, in 1991, we started covering the Lancaster Golden Gales uh, basketball when Jack Greathouse was coaching. Sure. And um, so that's been 23 years ago. Now we've been doing sports productions and we love following the high schools around the county. We also do some college. Uh, two years ago, we started doing college ball for the Ohio Athletic Conference. So okay, we yep. Uh, we follow your capitals, your Muskingum Mountain uh -huh. Unions, sure. and uh, cover soccer, football, uh, basketball, lacrosse, uh, volleyball, and uh, mm -hmm. enjoy that part of it as well. Great, great. Well, many people know, uh, you know, a great company is only good if they have great people. Uh, let's, let's talk about your employees a little bit because you got quite a team here. Sure, um, we're real proud of the team we've got. I, John Snyder, who passed away recently from Snyder and Company, he uh, gave me some advice when I first started out. He said, "Just hire people that are smarter than you." And <laughs> that's, good advice, yeah. <laughs> that's great advice. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, that was easy to do. And and I tell you what, we have we have a just a great staff right now. Right. Um, and I'll start off with our operations manager, Aaron Ohl. He's been with us a long time. Um, he does everything. Uh, he's, he's filming right now, as you can right. see. There he is. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but he, he is, uh, yeah, he's been with us the longest. Right. Uh, we also have our um, office manager, Amanda Decker. Uh -huh. She joined us a little over a year ago, or just about a year right now. Yeah. Um, fantastic employee. I'm not just saying that because she's over there, but right. uh, she really is. She's uh, invaluable to us. Uh -huh. uh, Jim George, we hired about a year and a half ago as our sales manager, and okay. we'll talk to Jim. Jim's here today with us, uh -huh. and um, we'll be speaking to him. And uh, we also have Travis Mitchell and John Lucas, who okay. do some editing with us. Uh -huh. And then um, the team that we have when we come out and do a game like this uh, are just the greatest group of guys. They've been with us, some of them, for almost 20 years. Uh -huh. um, 
when you pull in to do a basketball game or a football game, you know, when you watch it on TV, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah. And what I love is everybody's out there kind of doing their thing and doing it well. Right. And it kind of comes together and, and puts together a, a really nice yeah. broadcast. Well, I, I can attest just in uh, working through the Chamber of Commerce with uh, Interface Video uh, as a partner. It's great staff to work with, and I've enjoyed working with them all as well. So, Well, thanks for yeah. saying that. I appreciate that. Yeah. I do, too. It's, it's a joy, really, to come in every day and work yeah. with these guys. Absolutely. Well, let's talk. Uh, we're going to go talk to Jim a little bit and to learn a little bit more about the company and uh, some of the things that he does for the organization. All right. Sounds great. Sounds good. How do you grab the attention of your customers? Separate yourself from the competition. Explain how your products and services can make a difference. With Interphase Video. Interphase Video is a full-service, award-winning video production company with the experience, knowledge, and technology to deliver your message on time and within your budget. We realize the importance of identifying your target audience, understanding their needs, and delivering as promised. From sales and marketing, to broadcast commercials, from corporate training, to live staging and events, from television programs, to mobile sports productions, even media transfers, duplication, and packaging. The team at Interface Video will take your project from concept to completion. Okay, we're here with uh, the sales manager, Jim George, uh, again, Interface Video. Uh, Jim, tell us a little bit about some of the, the different things that you offer. I know Bob touched on a little bit of it, but uh, go a little more in depth. I mean, you're dabbling in web-based productions and commercials. There's a whole myriad of things that you guys do, right? Just about anything that has to do with video, we can do. And uh, we, we start out, you know, we, we're one of the most popular things we're running into right now is web-based videos, people wanting them on their uh, web page. Uh, social media is huge. They want a YouTube or Facebook. It's a great way of getting people to actually walk into your business or your organization without really being there. Right. And you know, if, if the way the world is today, social media is it. We can do a great job in getting you a really, really good um, web-based video. Um, we also do uh, com television commercials. Uh -huh. Um, and some of those we run here locally on Time Warner Ch Digital right. Channel 9, LSN. Uh -huh. um, we can also do commercials where we, we actually can uh, we'll send them to the Columbus television stations some or whatever. Some of the bigger networks, yeah. Yes, yeah, okay. as well. Good, good. Now, now with some of these services, uh, talking a little bit before the show here, you guys have found yourselves in some really interesting places and done some really interesting projects, correct? Yes, and it continues to be rather interesting. Uh -huh. I mean, we've been everywhere from uh, in coal mines and uh, to um, up where we've got a main a major project we're going to be doing here coming up in Lake Erie, um, having to do with the algae situation okay, up okay. there. And uh, we've, we've been at uh, places like Friendship Village of Dublin, um, sure. did a nice orientation video. And, and speaking about that, you know, your, your corporate videos, right. training, yep. safety, yep. orientation, um, anything like that, or marketing. We've had sure. a lot of local businesses here, such as General Machine, where we have actually come uh -huh. in and did a really nice video for, for them, and uh, that led to other jobs elsewhere as far as Hillsboro and all that, but yeah. it's kind of neat. It's kind of a fun job. Um, it's not really a job, it's just fun yeah. working for Interface because we, can, we go to so many different kind of uh, events, um, different opportunities, um, and it, yeah. it's just really uh, enjoyable. Yeah. Well, you mentioned events. Uh, special events is definitely one of those uh, one of those things that you do, and I know that's where we partner with you a lot. Yes, uh, and uh, you know uh, y you also make a living on embarrassing people like the president of the Chamber of Commerce, putting them in, making them act in videos and yeah, things like yeah, that, right? I, there was one in particular <laughs> I, I remember that was like that. Uh, yeah. So uh, it was, it was a, that was a fun video and yeah. fun to see. But, you know, we do uh, the Red Cross Heroes Breakfast, right. um, Fairfield County, um, DD, their um, uh, 
celebration of possibilities uh -huh. and uh, we do parades local yep. parades we do yep. the fair which by the way we are at this point yep. we're getting ready for the fair absolutely we're looking for uh, sponsors to do that yep we do the parade of bands which is very very big sure. tradition with the fair mm -hmm. we have a daily program that we're going to be putting on that we're doing and the sale of champions so uh -huh. Perfect. Um, we had Dave Benson a couple or a year ago say would you be willing to do yeah. that again and we said certainly for you we would be glad to do right that. now these special events too and just from from me being around a lot of them uh, you know there's a lot of production that goes into that You're, we're not just running video cameras for the sake of having a tape uh, no, that you can pass on afterwards there's production things going on there right? really is I, I think one example would be the Red Cross Heroes mm -hmm. breakfast where we highlight each of the heroes tell their story and that's really something that uh, I've been impressed with over the years before I was, was with interface video um, and even now even more so is how good we can come in and tell their story that's what we're trying to do to raise awareness to really fill people in on on what's going on and who we're talking about so we, we really try to um, tell the story and yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I know there's another piece of technology that we really want to check out here before we leave, uh, um, and this is just a recent, uh, if you will, uh, you've acquired some technology yes. uh, to give you a different perspective in video and, and, and picture work. Uh, you want to tell us just a little bit about that before we head out to the field to take well, a look? I think we'll, we'll just hold on on that and just tell folks that it's going to be something really different and like something that, that, that uh, we've done. And one other thing I'd like to say, yeah, with Interface, what we try to do is we work with the customer. We aren't telling you what to do or, you know, we, we work uh -huh. with you every step of the way. And I think a lot of people think, well, that must be really hard. But if they have trouble coming up with a script or something, we'll help them. We will meet right. with them. We'll do those types yep. of things, and and we just we're we're very customer oriented. And Absolutely, and I can attest to that. In some of our productions for our annual dinner and things, uh, you know, uh, we 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 build a team of people around us to help us do that. And sure. and interface videos right at the table, helping us uh, develop uh, ideas and, mm -hmm. and script ideas for the program. So it, it is a big help. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, the suspense is killing me. Let's okay. go see this yep. new piece of technology. All right. Sounds good. All right. Okay, we're back here on the show. Uh, as I mentioned, we are on site today, on location. Uh, we're at uh, Falcon Stadium, uh, Fairfield Union Local Schools, uh, in preparation for the, uh, the filming of the game and production of the game tonight. Uh, and again, I'm here with uh, Jim and Bob. Uh, Bob, we mentioned some technology in the segment before. Let's take a look at what we've got here. You use a lot of different tools to broadcast a football game. Some of these are n new. Uh, to the game, if you will. Yeah, they really are. Um, this one here is actually very new for us, and we, we used it last week for the first time at Logan High School. Um, you know, a lot of people have seen these. They, they've been getting more and more popularity. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is our quadcopter that we use to film um, aerial shots, whether it be video or audio, and we just mount, uh, you know, a GoPro mm -hmm. camera. Um, tonight's game, when we we do this uh, the broadcast, the opening shot that we you know do when the announcers welcome everybody to the game of the week, it will be an aerial shot from this field, and uh, we'll take a uh, look look here. I'll go ahead and fly it, and you'll be able to kind of get a first hand look at what this what this does and the images it gets. Perfect. Yeah, we'll look forward to taking uh, taking a look at that how that looks in the air, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to ask Jim a few more questions <laughs> about what's going on here. That sounds great. All right. So Jim, as uh, Bob starts to kind of get uh, the uh, quadcopter prepared there, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about some of these uses. We just talked about how we might use it at, the, at, at a football game to get sure. some aerial shots, but uh, there are a tremendous amount of applications for this. There really is, and, and there, it's really unlimited what you can do sure. with it. I mean, we have, uh, you know, agriculture. A lot uh -huh. of the farmers like to have a the photo of their their land or something yep. like that we can do that you can they certainly can be used to inspect things do different things like that um, again the sports we've used it for the Lancaster Festival uh, for a lot of our commercials or we the one we did at Friendship Village of Dublin we yep. actually took it up and got an overhead view of it right and real estate that right. is a huge thing um, where we can come in and take a picture we can get a view that nobody else can right 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 and sometimes there's those hard to reach places where you know you yes. just can't get a human being up there but yes. you need to survey an area uh, roof on a building exactly. or something like that 
Yeah. And they're they're a lot of it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I, we we say it's Bob's toy, so yeah. actually yeah. he 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 won't let us use it, which is probably wise. So. Yeah. Well, he, it seems like he's getting pretty good with it. So he is. He uh, is I think very good with it. But. We've seen in some of the shots, and I think we can see up there right now. He's hovering. Uh, just right above us, and uh, gosh, you can keep it pretty still and yep. right on target. We were using it last night at your event at the uh, Taste of Fairfield County Agriculture, Absolutely. which was a great event, by the way. Yeah, Very it was. Uh, got a good opportunity to see, uh, to, to take a view of the, the landscape there and yep. uh, the JD some, Power Equipment facilities. and uh, some good looks from, our, our, um, from it. it uh -huh. We can take stills, we can take do videos, uh -huh. and the quality is just out of sight. Uh, how well that the uh, great job that it does. It really is. Um, and then I, I don't know if we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but uh, a good application for this too is I think some, some bigger facilities that have you know, car lots and, and exactly. things like that. Correct? Yes, yes. We've used it uh, with Buckeye Honda, uh -huh. Toyota, uh -huh. Nissan. You know, you can get up and again get that uh -huh. view. We can even can do it on inside if the if the ceiling's high enough, which we did at the uh -huh. showroom with uh, Buckeye. Right. And uh, it, it's it's a pretty amazing view. It, right. it really is. Right. And it's a great product, and it's very affordable. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. We've talked about the uses, but uh, you know, I think that you guys are very conscious too that uh, there is you got to be safe with these things too, and there are Absolutely. some regulations. And yes. And uh, I'm sure you guys pay very close attention to that. We do. Um, we're very very, very responsible with what we do and uh, we, you won't see us flying it out at the uh, Port Columbus or anything right. like that or right. uh, over somebody's land it, uh, even when we take say a picture of real estate we make sure we just hone in directly on the property we are we aren't yep. do using it to spy on people things like right, that right and and we don't fly it too high sure. um, we we realize that there are people out there that yep. don't use these things responsibly right. and we are not those kind of people absolutely well it's certainly very interesting learn some about this new technology that you, you guys are using there, you can hear you? it flying yeah you see it right back here over the field really cool technology uh, I think we want to kind of now talk a little bit more about some of your on-site capabilities and uh, production uh, out of the office mm -hmm. and uh, I think we'll probably head uh, back over uh, to the, the production area and take a look at the trailer that you guys take around for to, yep. to uh, do some of your off-site production. Yes sir, we All appreciate right, it. Let's go take a look at it. Hi, Travis Markwood with the Lancaster Fairfield County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, this is the part of the show where we have our Young Professional Spotlight sponsored by Crowd Communications, so we appreciate their sponsorship uh, each month of this segment. Uh, special guest today and young professional, uh, one of our own, uh, Leslie Steppleton. She is the new marketing coordinator for the Chamber of Commerce. Leslie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, we're really excited to have Leslie as part of the Chamber of Commerce. I uh, wanted to start off just uh, so everybody get to know her a little bit. Um, how about your background? Uh, where are you from? Uh, where'd you go to school? And maybe what'd you do before you came to the chamber? Sure. I'm from New Lexington, Ohio. That's where I graduated, so not too far from here. I um, went to college at Ohio University. I got a degree mm -hmm. in journalism and news writing. Uh -huh. And so after that, I worked at a newspaper in Logan for about five years. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I worked at a bank in Logan as a community relations specialist. And Logan's actually where I live now. Perfect, perfect. And the interesting thing, I think, too, is that uh, prior to you coming to the Chamber of Commerce here in Lancaster and Fairfield County, uh, you have experience in working with the Logan Hawking Chamber of Commerce. Correct? Yes, I do. Um, when I started working at the bank, I actually became a board member for the Logan Hawking Chamber of Commerce, and I still am. Perfect. So it's great to have that experience. Uh, Leslie came to us kind of already knowing uh, the ins and outs of, of Chamber of Commerce life, if you will. So uh, we're really glad to have her here. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things you're doing for the Chamber of Commerce and some of your responsibilities. Uh, we've got a lot of different marketing outlets, not only our own marketing materials and such, but we also help market our other, our, you know, our members. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we talk about some of those vehicles. Well, sure. Like you said, my job is to market the chamber and as well as marketing the chamber to market our members. Mm -hmm. So some of the ways we do that is through our weekly newsletter, first of all, um, that gets sent to out through our email, through our t email to our members. And then um, we have a monthly printed publication in partnership with the Eagle Gazette mm -hmm. um, called Fairfield Business Monthly, where we can highlight some of the cool things that our chamber members right. are doing. Um, we also have the show, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then our radio program, um, we do that as well, and just uh, some other things, our membership directory, which we're getting ready to redo, mm -hmm. uh, goes out at the end of the year every year. 
right? Um, and then any kind of sponsorships that we have for our activities, we like to make sure that we promote our mm -hmm. sponsors. Mm -hmm. And so you you know you've rattled off quite a few things, and it is a small <laughs> office. There's only four of us in there, so uh, we all pitch in on all kinds of different things. So one day you're working on you know strictly marketing things, the next thing you know you're setting up tables, correct? Yeah, well <laughs> it's just the four of us, yeah. so it's all hands on deck all the time. Right. So whenever you know something's needed, you know we all pitch in to help. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now uh, you've been with us for you know just a couple months here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting into planning phase for next year. Uh, what are some things that uh, we're excited about for next year? I know we've talked a little bit about our website. It's yeah, I, I think that we'd really like to make sure that our website is up to date and we're really trying to push the news that our members have given us to share. Make sure we're highlighting them on our website, something I really like to see on our Facebook page, something mm -hmm. else that we do and we have right. another resource we use. Um, and also through our some other programs we have coming up that we can help our members a little bit more with things that they mean, may need planning our business. And I'm really excited to be able to tell people about that soon. Right. Business Resource Center is what yeah. we're referring to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There should be uh, <laughs> soon to come a lot more resources for our Chamber of Commerce, not only our existing members, but those that are uh, getting ready to start a business yep, here in, in Lancaster and Fairfield County. That's so. the plan. Perfect, perfect. Well, I tell you what, uh, that, that gets us down to just about the last few seconds of our show. Uh, Leslie, thanks for being on the show. Uh, thanks for being part of our staff at the Chamber of Commerce. If folks need to get a hold of you uh, for their marketing needs through the Chamber of Commerce, or if you have questions about the Chamber of Commerce, they can email yeah. you. Call the Chamber or email. My email is leslie, L-A-S-L-I-E, at L-A-N-C-O-C dot org. And of course, you can call the Chamber of Commerce 653-8251, and we'd be happy to help you with any of your business needs. Thanks a lot. Again, this has been uh, the uh, Young Professional Spotlight. Uh, Again, uh, sponsored by Cryo Communications, and uh, thanks for watching today. As a company of young professionals, Cryo Communications is proud to sponsor this segment. We specialize in helping businesses and organizations get the right message to the right audience at the right time and in the right way. To learn more about Cryo Communications and how they can help you with your communication needs, visit them at cryocommunications.com. Business Forward Ribbon Cuttings is brought to you by the Frankie Smith Funeral Home. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Locations in Lancaster and Baltimore. Visit them at their website at funeralhome.com. back with uh, Bob Competti here with Interface Video. Uh, we're actually now in the remote trailer, if you will, that you guys take out to on-site events uh, and sporting uh, sporting events. This is really the nuts and bolts, the command center for any type of production you do off-site, correct? It really is, Travis. Um, this enables us to show up at a venue and the, whole, the crew, the, the announcers, the camera guys, everybody kind of works through here. Mm -hmm. We have our graphics guys right now. John mm -hmm. Lucas is over there. These, these guys understand and know more, way more about this yeah. stuff than I do, and they yeah. do a heck of a job. Um, he's showing some footage right now, actually, of uh, the uh, quadcopter when it flew over the downtown Lancaster for the art walk. Uh -huh. um, but basically what we do in here is when we show up at a game like you know where we're at tonight at Fairfield Union, mm -hmm. all of the cameras go out, they all get set up, I get to see in here what every camera shot has, and then we switch right. and, and broadcast it basically. Yeah. It's the same setup that we um, use for high school and um, I don't think we've mentioned yet, but we also will stream live sports. Okay. Um, when we uh, signed the contract with Ohio Athletic Conference a couple years ago, their goal was to be able to uh, provide a service to all of the college athletes and the families that they could watch it live. Right. So right. what we do is we show up, we mix the games on the spot. Whether we're at, you know, we've been at Mountain Union several times. We've been at Ohio Northern. We've been at Wilmington. Uh -huh. um, just different colleges around the sure. state, but and able to you know bring these games live to people yeah. and they can watch them on their computer they can watch them yeah. on their smartphone it's it's yeah. technology is crazy yeah. i've never i mean you've always done like our annual dinner and the production pieces to that uh 
this is always kind of a black box to me as to what happens in here, but it all comes together and it always it always ends up working. It really does. It's a lot of fun. And, and one of the, uh, the the very first broadcasts actually we did live streaming was at Mountain Union for their volleyball program. Uh -huh. And we got there and we were doing some pregame warm-up stuff and we found out the coach wasn't there. And I said, well, where is she at? She goes, she's at the hospital right now delivering twins. Oh, my gosh. So what we found out from the athletic director later, they had an iPad mounted to in her operating room, <laughs> and she was watching her yeah. team live the stream, which yeah. that was that was pretty cool. You know, that's if we had one viewer that day, that, that was, was that pretty was cool. It, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. pretty cool. Good deal. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's been a pleasure uh, today. You know, getting to see a little bit about what you, what you guys do off site and and on site, and uh, you know, getting to hang out with your staff a little bit, check out some technology. But uh, really appreciate your partnership with the Chamber of Commerce and and producing this show, Business Forward. Uh, and uh, anything you want to add to the viewers? Uh, how about where are you located, and how do they get a hold of you? We're at 115 West Wheeling Street, which is right downtown in Lancaster, in between Broad and Columbus. And uh, you can call our offices anytime. We're open Monday through Friday, eight to four. Uh, 653-2564. I encourage you to get on our website or our Facebook page. Amanda Decker puts a lot of really cool shots up on sure. that from time to time. And uh, you know, give us a call. And uh, Jim George, our sales guy, he is uh, he's more than willing to. He'll be there on, in a snap. And uh, great guy to have on our team. And all these guys are. And I I just uh, appreciate them. And I appreciate you uh, having us on the show. Absolutely. Well, thanks. It's been a pleasure. A lot of fun today. Uh, this has been another production of Interface Video in partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, you'll be watching this on LSN. Again, thank you for watching Business Forward.